It's Saturday, and it's morning. You wake up in your house, and you discover that you didn't have any breakfast. You drove your car to the mall. You look at the mall and notice that it was a new mall too. Now, when you look at the mall most closely again, you notice that the mall looks a little strange. So, what's strange? Strange buildings are the strange that you see outside the world. These strange buildings are what makes the city more artistic. Look in the countryside, and you won't find any strange buildings. These buildings. Aren't always called strange. They can also be called normal buildings. It's the way of your perspective that you can call it strange. So, if you are an architect, your main idea and goal of it is to make the building strange. It was to make it's to make the audience and the people who go into the building feel new, and it makes it feel cooler. This building shows a variety of different views. Take a look from the top view. It looks more like a chair with half a side chopped off. The chair would, in your kitchen, the chair would have four stools, four leg peg legs. These legs will support the chair. Take the chair out into the wild and make it taller. And it looks like this building. The columns in the chair do the same way as they support the columns in a building. The peg legs you apply the pressure underground while so that the chair on top can sustain your weight. The same way the building also does that. The tower here has two peg legs. It is completely made out of glass and steel iron. These legs, these legs function the building, work and work as pillars. In the middle, you can see the half square shape. This half, this half square shape, is what the building is famous for. The half peg shape makes it look, makes it look difficult to build and makes it seem a little impossible. Think about you add a grain of salt on it. You might think that the extra weight would just make it collapse. Well, it's not. The building won't collapse because of the reinforcements they used in it. That is how they made a peg without a peg. The next one is the basket building. This building is basically Little Red Riding Hood's basket. It was made. Just to look like a basket. Inside this basket is a factory. Take a look on the outside. The design makes it look like the basket is made of straw, but it's not actually straw. Feel it, and you'll see that it's hard. This building was designed in this way, not just to look like a basket. It was also made to make you have an impression on it. The impression also decides on whether your view of it or not. This one is Lucy the elephant. It is based on Indian-style elephant rides. If you go in the Indians and Arabics, you will usually see elephants. These elephants provide traveling. And they are usually kept as pets. The hood you see up there is where the people sit in elephant rides. It was built in. It's built in Indian fashion style too. The elephant is also made to look real. All the buildings I have shown are made to look real. These buildings that make them look real also makes them look more artistic. This is a normal everyday life house in the United States. Walk down the street and you'll see one of these. It's very common. 
these buildings, these buildings are red brick, and they make it, and they make the city and countryside life. In the countryside, this is also a little uncommon. But in the city, you will usually see these outside of the downtown. Go to Mexico, and there will be some tons of these. And in the United States, there are also a lot of these. These make up the normal day house lives of the third world country and the second world. When you look, it's a normal day house with a porch, a oak tree, no garages, and one window. Take a look at all three buildings. These three buildings, these four buildings, are all buildings. It's only the design and how you look at it that makes it different. For example, you are a countryside farmer. You walk into the city and you notice these buildings. You might go, ah, it's so beautiful. But if you live near it, you might go out and say, this might ruin the view. I want to see that mountain behind it, and it's really disrupting. So how and why do they build these buildings? First, they add the bases. The bases always provide the support for it underground. The bases are hidden in the basements. You drive a car into you drive a car into the basement, and you usually see the pillars. The pillars hide the bases inside them. The pillars that support the basement also support the building from the underneath. This is a base. This is a fully exposed base. This, these bases make it look like a maze, and they look very short. But actually, they are not short, they are, and they are not shallow. They are very deep, to be exact. To make the building strong, especially if it's high, you need to make the building deep in bases. Next, they build the skeleton. The skeleton is what is hidden in the wall. The skeleton is what holds up the building around, around in the outside. There might, there are skeletons behind the gray panels of this building that are hidden. This is a full picture of the skeleton of a skyscraper. The skeleton, as you can see in this picture, is connected by thousands of megs. These megs control and support the build columns that make up the skeleton. Look closely and you'll see that there are more than you can count. After they build the skeletons, after they build the skeletons, they attach the floors. The floor look like they're hung from the ceiling, only you don't see them normally. The floors are not hung from the ceilings above. The floors are actually hung by pillars. These pillars push the floors up. Without the pillars, the floor would just creak down and break. And floors aren't made to be hung by ceilings. If you use three ropes on each side of a street, each side of a mall to hang up the floors, it might just collapse under the weight and the rope might break. This is a picture of a floor that is not yet be finished. This is a ancient styled pillar. The pillars, these are, the, these are what support the floors. Pillars come in many shapes and designs. Take example the pillars in your normal day skyscraper. They might look slanted or they might look straight. They might even be hidden from your view in the inside. But these are ancient style. They are usually made, they are usually sculpted and made. The Greeks and Romans used these as temples for their gods. They did this with great work and care, for they believed that this was the God. This was to be made for the God. And this is where the God is supposed to live in. 
After they have finished building the building's outside interior, they will go for. They will put on. They will. They will put the electric cables in. The electric cables are usually inside a room known as the electric room. It is usually under lock, for it's very dangerous. The electric cables and the in the electric room power the all the lights, the machines, and everything running inside the building. Even the stove uses electric nowadays. This is an electric cable. It is usually more complicated than in a picture because this is small. This is a small time. So, how do you think about the buildings? Do the buildings give you a strange and beautiful feeling, or do you think the buildings destroy your complimentary view of the city? If you go up in a skyscraper, you might note that your house looks so tiny. That is because you're so high in the air. If you are a countrysider and you stand on a mountain, you might note that these buildings are not actually that high, because the mountain is higher than mountain is higher than the city skyscrapers. So, did you get any impression about how your building might be, or how you might one day design one? You can just get the inspiration from anything. Take example the TEDx Youth at Business International School, Hangzhou. You, some by some day, somebody might make a sculpture out of these words in the real life, or maybe they might even make, or maybe they can study a fly and make a fly building. So, do you have any more impressions about buildings? Do you have any new thoughts about them?